So that was tight again, short, tight. Yeah. This golf club is only doing what your wrist is doing, okay? Now, if that's not doing a lot, then the shoulders, you basically, you basically got your shoulder controlling that club head. Yeah. That's probably yeah. not the best thing for feel and control, having your shoulder control the club, because that's where you're, that's where the load is, that's where you feel the awareness. When the load's on the wrist, makes now sense. you can makes feel sense. this, makes okay? Sense completely, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So just, yes, that's a different animal that's way. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That'd be good. Ollie. Yeah. <laughs> no, <but> I am. <laughs> wow. Last summer when I started, I was watching every single YouTube video under the sun. Yeah. And just like, and standing there thinking, all this stuff, like do this and that, and then, oh, I mustn't have thought the last thing of the list that should have done, and then it's gone, it's gone right or whatever. So, yeah, I, I watched your videos and I was like, oh, yeah, it just made it just made like, it made more more sense getting longer irons is i'm not very as confident with like i wouldn't even bother getting like four iron out on like fairway or anything really yeah um so what you go up to like a six line or something like that yeah yeah five is probably what the max yeah nice start to that one yeah i won't complain <laughs> bit of a fade a little bit that's that that typical yeah 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 You can see the kind of it'll go either way. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a full draw and a push fade. All sorts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with a seven nine, it's not too bad, is it? But it's when you get to the longer clubs, then yeah, and it's it like big. Because that's playable. That I know you don't like strike here, but that's that's fairly playable. Yeah. Cool. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna explore a little bit of space first, and a little bit of movement, and start to explore some shots. Because you've got a fade at the minute, yeah. uh, so we know that your club is traveling that way, which I'm sure you know from watching videos and, yeah. and everyone all that. <laughs> fix my fade or fix my slide. So, you know you've got a club face, a club that's traveling left, and a face that's open yeah. to that path, yeah? yeah? What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna, move your path out to the right with a face that's close to it and it's going to start to draw the ball and then we can start to play with these shot shapes yeah. and we can go back to your fade but now you'll have a feel of where that fade is because you're moving towards the fade you're not just stuck in that place where you're hitting a fade and you're trying to correct it you're actually moving towards it intentionally the longer clubs are going to require particularly the driver more of a draw shape swing even if you're trying to fade the ball with a driver, it needs more of a draw shape swing yeah. because the ball's teed up. So it's like you're just swishing a stick. And just feel the arc of the club head, Ollie. Just direct it over there for me. That's it. And that'd be more of a fade. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to move this way. Move into draw. And you can sense the arc on the way through which requires the arc on the way back. Yeah. So where you finish then, you're just showing that follow through again, that draw finish there. Oh, you can get, go into your full finish with it, let your arms go over your shoulder. That's it. So now you're facing over here. That yeah. doesn't mean the ball's gonna go over there, are they? That just means you've swung that way. Yeah. Because it's not the swing that's directing the ball on its, in, on its initial launch, it's the club face. So really sh explore that space behind you, yeah. Let your body rotate to take you there. Good, there's the draw. That's easy, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got it. Only. So you can aim more right as well, that's it. And then just let the club explore, just let your body rotate, just to swing the club behind you more. And you're gonna get a draw like that. So you can, let, you can really start to let you swing Oh, right. Yeah, because that finish was still a little bit more target. Yeah. Face onto the target, whereas look, let's swing out towards out to the right, out towards those posts. Let's follow through out there. Cool. Just watch the ball fly. That's that's starting a lot further right, but drew a little bit. And again, I want you to watch the ball fly really intently there. 
just watch it, there you go. There's the draw. Get crazy about it. It's nuts. Brilliant. Feel different? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that no, really does. You've got a really powerful action. You really don't want to be thinking too much about your technique, as in, well, we shouldn't anyway. But I mean, at all. Yeah. We can't, I mean, as in, not even where you're getting your power from, not even, we can, we're going to tune it up a little bit, but we're going to really, because I want, you've got to have some form of reference. It's like, how am I you, if it ever goes a little bit awry, it's like, how do I just get myself back on track? How do I reset? So I'm going to show you some simple stuff just to reset, attune you to the forces. But all the stuff you were talking about earlier, that doesn't want to be even entering your mind because you've got the ability to smash it 170, 180 with the draw, but not just that, then it's every time. Before, I was trying to think a thousand things, but there, just, just from that that you gave me, that space, it's like immediately it's just a feeling rather than thought, thoughts. Exactly. Like a thousand thoughts. Yeah, because it is only a feeling, you hit it about 30 yards further. Yeah. <laughs> so you hit yeah. it like 170 yard carry with a 7 iron. I don't know, but at the beginning you hit it like 140, 150. That's what I normally hit, yeah. So straight away you've got 20, 20 to 30 yard further, <sighs> probably 20 yard, like 150. Yeah. One of them went near, near to 180, but so you've got say 20 yards. But it was effortless, yeah. okay? And your finish was balanced. And you weren't, you weren't making a bigger swing, you weren't doing anything extra to try and get that 170 yard, that tw extra 20 yards, it just happened. Yeah. And it happened through efficiency because you're tapping into more of a natural movement pattern. Yeah. This is more of an this is more of an innate response. This is your innate response to just essentially how I've just allowed you to perceive this. Just change the concept a little bit. And it's crazy. I mean that's telling you uh, that you've got a natural draw. It took because it was your first golf shot. The next very next shot after we spoke, you had to draw. <laughs> you didn't even have to work for it. You didn't even have to think hard. You didn't have it. You didn't. You just it's a draw, yeah. and, uh, and carried on drawing. And you've been playing a fade with a draw swing. Yeah. So you've been working against natural inclination to adapt to this. Yeah. Twist your feet to swing it back. Twist your feet to swing it through. So the feet let you let your wrist cock and uncock. So loads. So when it, that's a that loads the wrist. Yeah. That's unloaded, it's just falling, the club's falling, and then it's, it loads the weight of the club, loads the wrist again. That's it. Can you feel the disc twist just before? Yeah. They just initiate the action. So you're rotating that way with your body, and the club's swinging out this way. Does that make sense? Yeah. Just create some more draw space behind you and just feel the heart. Yeah, with your whole body. Body will rotate. Look at that. Takes you into that place and get more draw. Great. Brilliant, that. Nah. <laughs> so it's just starting to just, this is you now attuning yourself to the golf club. Yeah, that's right. right. Work that on you. No, no. <laughs> sometimes, so it stayed out a little bit, it's good. But notice it didn't fade or slice, it just. So your face was just square to your to, to your path, that's yeah. all. So your face was open to the path. So this is more of a timing thing. This is more of just letting the club release. Superb. Brilliant. Start it right. It's going, it coming that way, but maybe I'm, I'm, I'm not quite I could be, could I be finishing more? Yeah, you could, there. yeah. Like that, yeah. You're starting to get a feel for it. Yeah. Of how you can move and influence that ball flight. Oh, look at that. It's almost like, not even thinking like that, I've got the club behind the wall here and stuff, it's just kind of moving around it, just getting ready kind of thing. Yeah. Getting ready, it's getting ready, exactly. Getting ready, like every other sport you played. Okay, yeah. you didn't have to be set up and static in a certain position to uh, let's go. Let's get in a really static position and get ready for this big flowing movement. Yeah. We're just going to let go. Yeah. It's like, you know, let's get right, I'm ready to go. 
right, relax, Whew, go, let's go. It's like, let's swing freely and let it go. It's like, everything's really influencing you into to, to, to moving in the opposite way that you'd intend there. It's kind of a counter to what you, to what you, to, to your intention. So what we've got to do is exactly what you just said there. You just kind of get ready. I wouldn't even call it a setup. I think setup yeah. because more kind of stationary, uh, stationary approach. Kind of set. It's kind of setup. It's like I'm setting up. Yeah. This is not. It's a run up. It's a get. It's like getting ready. Yeah. I'm just getting ready. And you know, I'm going to go whenever I feel like it. It's yeah. not like there's no set time limit to this thing. It's like, yeah, right, go. Because as soon as you see it, boom. Like, oh yeah, right, I'm off. Reactive in a sense that this is a different time to what you used to, what you used to do, um, and things like the low point of your golf swing. So when you we just turned to catch it heavy a little bit. Yeah. yeah so yeah. that's where I'm going to take you to now, just to refine that awareness. If you want to step on that on the ball, what we're going to do? We're going to, we're going to look at a horizontal force. Let's rock the board to initiate the swing back and through. So you would rock the board first back, then you rock it board first through. That's it. Keep the swing on the draw arc. So you, what that kind of suggested then, the way you move, was that your arms would move with your body. Yeah. So when you went to rotate, your hand path went with you, like that yeah. way. Okay, whereas in golf, we'll rotate and the hands will, the club will be traveling away. Whereas when you went yeah, yeah, around, around with, with you as you rotate, and so you're yeah. used you're used to use you're using your body in the club almost like as a block. You know, yeah, it moves together. Yeah. Whereas now we're separating segments, so that creates a sequence. Yeah. Because if everything moves together, there's no sequence. As soon as you start to let segments move individually, they start to form a sequence, and we want to amplify your senses with that sequence, so you can really feel it, and you can feel how you. Create that, yeah. That snap. And then the pressure go first, so you bang the board before the club swishes, or before, definitely before it swings if you can. That's it. So while the club's still behind you, you bang the board. Makes sense. Yeah. So your club's still back there, so even though it's white, what's what's swinging it back is that banging the board back. That's it. If you just bang the board like that, yeah, you get it all for free because it's a yeah. limited movement. Yeah, it's throwing, it's kicking, and you've done this for, so it's like it's already in the system. That's why he draws a piece of cake for you to prepare. It's like it's exciting. Single figures, there you come. <laughs> <laughs> now, the direction you shift that pressure, so if we wanted more draw, all we you, you don't even need the board because I know you're going to. This will resonate straight away. If you want more draw, you're essentially just doing that with your pressure. You just feel like you're rocking forward before you swing back. Use that momentum to go back. Nice. So now we're just thinking more, think about that momentum then. Now face. The, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. now shot, yeah. That's good, because you had your attention there, but now you can shift onto the shot a little bit more using that momentum. Didn't quite set up in there, and you were, you went straight off with the arms instead yeah. of just letting yourself use the board. Yeah. And rocking the board in your mind, your momentum. So if you were throwing a ball, where would your body weight go? It'd go in the direction you want to throw. Yeah. We're swinging out to the right for the draw, so we want them. We want to direct our momentum this way. Yeah. Because that's for the draw to go this way. Yeah. And so let the arms carry on. Yeah. Very different. Feel the difference? Yeah. How you let? How you let this? Carry on. This is all carrying on. Yeah. You bang the board, and even when you bang the board, this is probably still going that way. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like really it's so late. It's late, 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 and then it just unloads, yeah. as in the wrist just. But it's all so much later, as opposed to everything moving together. Nice one. That's your ball, but you're, you're really now starting to explore and shift out to the right, and swing out there, and bring yeah. it back, and this is. This is an area of space that you would never have been aiming at or swinging in or towards. Yeah. And now you're curving yeah. back every time. Now I want you to go back to your fade. So for your fade, we move back, we move around the ball this way, and we're going to swing to the left. Oh, what a shot! So that's a real, that's a, a 
fantastic fade shot uh, with intent. Yeah, with in, with intention. Which feels easier to play? <laughs> the draw. Yeah, so you've been playing all this time with a draw swing, with an actual draw swing, but seeing them playing a fade, and fighting it, fighting it really. Because I mean, that's a beautiful golf shot, but it's like harder for you to fade it. Yeah. It's harder yeah. for you to fade it now <laughs> than, than, yeah, than it, you, that it was than, when you came to fade. Yeah. It's harder to fade it, but you can fade it by, by just playing with tolerance. <laughs> So you know, you know, if when you look at that, ball started kind of where you wanted it to, probably. Yeah. But it, you, you, yeah, your path wasn't far enough to the left. Yeah. So your path needs to be more that way. Yeah. So your face was great. Just move around the ball a bit more this way. So that's it, and that's going to facilitate that. Yeah, that path to the left. So your face is more open to your path, and and you'll get a little bit of fade. But I mean, it's a beautiful golf shot. Notice your finish is a little bit different. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be this shot. Everything you did then was superb. The way that you moved, you were working it out, you've obviously got awareness of what you're doing and moving around, getting ready, and then boom, you played the perfect shot. Yeah. And it's like, that was organized. I just want you to sense the timing when yeah. you're using it. It's this action that happens way earlier, bang, and then this will go later. The arm will get, that throws the arm off the chest, the rib cage, yeah. Let's have a few shots now. Forward press from you. Feel your weight go forward to go back. Brilliant. That was a gorgeous golf swing. Just hit that one for me now. See the high draw, move round for it. So we need to let the club swing. So it's not staying close, you're not trying to keep it close or anything like that, you're just letting yeah. it all bend freely, just let it move freely, that's it. And then direct it out for the drawer a little, just a little bit, you don't need a lot. And then put both hands on, and now use your, that's it, perfect. And then set up and just use the momentum from the board. Oh. That's the best swing of the lot. That was, one of Yeah. yeah. But, you can't be putting effort in here yeah. to get that. <laughs> lose it all, don't you? Because it's not a whip anymore, it's an yeah. iron rod. Because it's rigid. So when you try shifting an iron rod, it's a lot harder than cracking the whip. Yeah. Now there's now there's mobility through the system, it's like you can let it go. Yeah. That was phenomenal, that one. This is like a playground. That's brilliant. Feel good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. So because you've probably been playing with your medium irons a lot, you've, you've just adapted your swing to medium irons. On an extreme level, this timing with the seven iron is going to be very different to the timing for a pitch. Yeah. It's just a, that's just a, yeah. taking it to extremes. So it's just recognizing that and then letting it go from the ground. So that was tight again, short, tight. Yeah. This golf club is only doing what your wrist is doing, okay? Now, if that's not doing a lot, then the shoulders, you basically, you basically got your shoulder controlling that club end. Yeah. That's probably yeah. not the best thing for feel and control, yeah. having your shoulder control the club, because that's, that's where the load is, that's where you feel the awareness. When the load's on the wrist, makes now sense. you can feel this, yeah. it makes okay? sense completely, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's, yes, that's a, Different animal that way. Yeah. Feel the arc straight away from the, yeah, use that momentum from the ground to create the draw arc. Look at that. Mm. That is fantastic. And that whip. Now let's try and play fade. So move around. So fade with the four iron. Yeah, what a golf shot. It's like deep immersive practice and then. Now see if you can draw it into that place you just hit it to. 
it's going to have a different shape into it. Similar area, not particularly, not, don't think of any particular target, just that's that area of the rain. You can just see if you can draw it into that place. It just doesn't have to be a big draw. What a goal shot. I mean, that's brilliant. Yeah, great. It's off the ground. Baden's rolled the four eyes, the same place. Yes. <laughs> it's not sad. It's brilliant. But this is, you know what? You respond so well to the challenge. Yeah. It's like you need, I don't think you've been setting the bar high enough when you practice or play. Yeah, I've just been like, oh, there's the 150 yard post. I need to get it near that with my seven. That is not you. You respond so well to the, to, a, to a challenge. You suddenly you were really engaged. You saw it, and then you were working it out, and you were getting ready. Yeah, it was like perfect. That's how you play golf. Didn't quite come round as much. But maybe I came across that. But you'd have faded a little bit. A yard or two, didn't it? But the thing is, look at the height, the flight, the strike. Yeah. In this now, yeah, before, I mean, I've got that complaint if I've faded it on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's not too bad. More early, it's like I don't even use my four iron. Yeah. And now you're like, oh, you, you faded it out. <laughs> <laughs> it was a beautiful shot. It's probably eight out of ten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're going to be really critical. You might have got eight point. I mean, probably maybe yeah. nine. There was only yeah. just just didn't draw that sort. But that's yeah. what. But now that's what your next shot's about. Yeah. And you're practicing. That's what this one's about now. So feel you just. Feel how you need to adjust just to get that little bit of draw. Look at that. So good. Ole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Oh, that's awesome. Notice in the session, Ollie, we've gone everywhere where you don't normally go. Yeah. We've, yeah. we've gone draws. Okay, we've gone four iron. Yeah. <laughs> we've gone everywhere that you are Okay, and yeah. we've lived in that place and we've let it organise itself and sort it out, and actually, it's fine. It's yeah. all good. It's in the driver. So, the driver, like I said earlier, it puts the fade on it, so you just need to go into the draw place, that's all. Ollie? Wow. And you normally know fade that? Yeah. Yeah. Different, feel different. Yeah, a draw. You can play for that draw. Yeah, so now you can swing out. You're used to swinging left, yeah, and aiming left and swinging left. But yeah. now you can swing right, so you can feel that or feel that draw arc and swing right and release it. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. What a goal for that. Feel good? Yeah, yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> what was it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, mm. I'm going to play it. Play? Like, yeah, rather than be just like, chilling, like just. Play, play rather than pray, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, you're not really shots. playing it if you just hit, if you've got one shot and you're, yeah. just, you're just getting around, aren't you? You're managing. Exactly. That's yeah. not that's not playing the game. That's not that's not going to give you the most enjoyment. No. Doing that down a fairway is going to just you're going to be buzzing. Look at that. I mean, now you're getting confidence. You're letting yourself go more. I mean, it's like. Right up close to the end of the range, that. Make sure you get in the full range from the body. That's it. Beautiful. I feel after the shots where I'm never finishing, like, mm. the club almost coming that far. Yeah. I'm never like going through that much because I'm trying to think. Complete. Make sure you finish the square and like mm. just try and get it straight. Being too focused here, trying yeah. to control what's out there. Yeah. Now you're out there looking at them swinging. Like, yeah. This just takes care of itself. Yeah. Brilliant, mate. Enjoyed it.
That's great. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ali. Well yeah, done. Buzzing. Well done, man. Cheers, mate. Absolutely brilliant to watch yeah, that. That was awesome, yeah. yeah Game changer for you, that. Yeah, yeah. Really is. Because that now you can go out, you've got scope to go and enjoy and develop your game, but your handicap's going to be like. Uh, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, it's not, it ain't going to be up where you were talking. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. or if it is, enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then. Then you can start to channel your energy into short game. Make these shots count now. Yeah. Short approach play, 100 yards in, pitching, chipping, putting, hone that skill round the green. These are going to put you in position and that's going to score. So it's it's like, I don't think, I actually didn't hit, I'm not hit a slice. No, not one. <laughs> no, I think it's just mental really. Just and, we've opened, and we've opened your face, essentially, because we've delofted yeah. it, so we've, yeah. we've, we've took it back to neutral. Yeah. So, um, no, yeah. that's absolutely and uh, that I would I would just go and, go and try sort of stiff shaft go yeah. and, or go and I've ideally got a, have a I've got a stiff I've, you know so I've got a stiff shaft in the other driver that I'm right. selling at the moment I could just switch switch it around well I'll go to the range first and try yeah. it out yeah. I really think along with the other one well but obviously like you said it's but now you're getting this yeah. yeah now you've got set oh you it's different different completely different animal at golf swing now um much more efficient, more speed, release, everything. Cool, that's great. All right. What's it like with the, you've got to have, have a long waiting list, haven't you? I have. So what's the, what's the, like how long is it? October.